Hi, I'm Mary Jo Hughes, Director of UVic's Legacy Art Gallery in downtown Victoria. I acknowledge with respect the Lekwungen people, upon whose traditional territory the gallery stands, and the Songhees, Esquimalt, and Wasanich people, whose relationships with this land continue to this day. At Legacy, art works to encourage dialogue around issues that matter. We strive to activate the art collection to reach across disciplines to engage audiences within the university and beyond. Today I welcome you to the gallery to see an example of how this happens through exhibitions. Life Stories, along with its related website and films, is an exhibition that gives voice to various artists and scholars on topics that cut across disciplines while encouraging audiences towards self-reflection on many aspects of what it means to be human. Life Stories is co-curated by Dr. Aaron Campbell, Jaya Anka, and Holly Sissel. Jaya and Holly, both now UVic alum, were students of the Art History and Visual Studies Department. In working with Dr. Campbell and the gallery professional staff, the students developed and honed their skills of researching, writing, designing, and curating through experiential learning in the real-world setting of a public gallery. Such hands-on opportunities are an important part of Legacy Gallery's role within the university. Over the course of a number of years, these three curators delved into the more than 19,000 objects that are in the art collection. They considered artwork that spans time, geography, media, and culture. Through research, reflection, and seeking connections, they assembled objects that speak to a range of life stages. In doing so, they've created a poignant exhibition that invites us to examine our own life path and to consider the artwork that informs it. I'm Erin Campbell, lead curator of the exhibition and professor of early modern European art in the Department of Art History and Visual Studies. The idea for this exhibition grew out of my historical research into the home and how art shaped the life stories of families in the past. Each artwork in the exhibition provides opportunities to think about the role of objects in our own life stages. Why do we collect and display the things we do? What objects are on our night tables? What images are hanging beside our beds? How do such things offer lessons for living, provide comfort, or commemorate important rituals? Jack Wilkinson's Girl in Blue Flowered Nightgown in Coming of Age is the signature image for the exhibition. The painting evokes the sense of life stories yet to be written. The solitary girl on the bed, lost in her book, draws us into a quiet world of daydreaming. Her features are in shadow, the pages of the book brightly lit, both inscrutable. Her fancy pink shoes cast off beside the richly draped bed conjure up a space of privilege taken for granted. In this room, children on the cusp of adulthood have time to dream about their futures. The text below reminds us that not everyone has access to Wilkinson's vision of adolescence. Photographs play key roles in our life stories, capturing significant life stages and preserving memories. It is no surprise that they feature prominently in the exhibition. Frank Pimentel's Billy, Motorcycle Man, displayed in maturity, confirms the thesis of the exhibition. Things help us define ourselves, our relationships, and our life stages. Billy has gathered around himself objects and photos of himself that mark his own sense of maturity. No one can stop him from bringing his motorcycle into the living room. He is an adult. The stuffed animals and the childlike name Billy provide ironic comment on his claim to maturity. I'm Jaya Enka and I'm one of the curators of Life Stories. In addition, I'm also a PhD candidate with the Department of Art History and Visual Studies. And welcome to the inner gallery space, a space that's dedicated to the idea of passages. And this could be passages in terms of moving from one life stage to another, or from passing on. 
Here, for example, is a work by Ram Kantiani, a work charcoal on paper. And we felt that it really captured this idea of passages, that a passage is like a kind of doorway or portal. And that as we go through our life, as we journey through or across the life stages, that each one is like a doorway just unfolding one to another. We really wanted to display a number of different works of art and objects from across time, culture and faith traditions, from Tibetan mandalas to prayer wheels um, to different faith traditions, including this beautiful uh, ensemble here, which is made from a prayer rug and a mosque map, which is from Morocco. And so in setting that would be lit um, probably with candles or with oil and here in the space if we were able to do that we would have that sense of what it's like to be in a space of reflection, prayer, commemoration. And here now we're in a space dedicated to the idea of the bedroom. And here we feature a 17th century four poster bed. Um, and it takes up virtually the entire space. We wanted a piece of furniture that could be evocative of many memories um, and occasions throughout the life stages. And we put out a call to MFA students at the University of Victoria last year, and Ellie Heiss, who is a recent MFA graduate, created her installation entitled Related Repose. So she works with photos and prints them onto Paris chiffon and they take on this whole new life or ephemeral quality, especially as they contrast with the substantial nature of the bed. So taken from her own photographs, these act as sites of memory for both Ellie and for the viewer who comes, visits the installation and is able to project their own memories or thoughts or feelings. And in addition to the images themselves, the ephemeral quality of the work um, becomes all the more activated when people are moving through the space. The panels of fabric move, um, so it's constantly changing and it's dynamic, um, much like the process of image and memory making. I'm Holly Sissel, Life Stories curator for the digital content in the exhibition, including four short films seen here screening in the gallery. Lead curator Dr. Aaron Campbell explored life's challenges and opportunities in conversation with seven scholars from the University of Victoria, whose research focuses across the life stages. These films are also screened on the Life Stories website, created to allow virtual visits to the gallery, with a range of content expanding on the exhibition. Viewers can explore individual life stages directly from the menu, or advance sequentially left to right through beginnings, childhood, and so on. Discover more about intriguing objects by clicking on their image and viewing additional perspectives. At the bottom of each life stage page is a 360-degree view of the gallery installation. Look up, there's always more to see. At any time, you can access the main menu to advance to another section, such as the object biographies and the printed exhibition catalogue. The four short films can be viewed full screen by clicking on this icon, and to delve deeper, the full length interviews appear on the following page. Additional digital content includes the soundscapes created in response to Life Stories artworks by Anthropology of Sound students at the University of Victoria. Finally, in the guest book, you can join the conversation by adding your story to the collective exhibition journal. This journal appears in real space in the gallery, part of the innovations to interactivity following changes necessitated by the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. Reach the home page at any time from this icon. In early planning for Life Stories, lead curator Dr. Aaron Campbell had always envisioned a fully virtual twin to the gallery exhibition, allowing interactivity from anywhere in the world. We set out to share how arts shapes our life stories, our sense of self and our relationships. 
Now more than ever, art helps us to make sense of and respond to challenging times. We look forward to you experiencing and joining with the many voices now adding to life stories.